I must say, as you heard, uh, I myself have always found difficulty in explaining to others, you know, in a simple way, what are the different things I do. So I really was very pleased to, that the efforts of uh, Professor Goldsmith and our colleagues in giving me a very nice description, which I can now give to my wife, among others, <laughs> <laughs> about what we do. Uh, I was also inspired by the, uh, F the previous speaker, who is quite bilingual, to follow his example in a limited way. Presidente del Senado, Senora Ministra, Presidente de la Fundación Bebe Uveya, Presidente del CSIC, Autoridades y Representantes del Cuerpo Diplomático, Presidentes y Miembros de los Jurados, y Distinguidos Invitados, Ladies and Gentlemen. May I first express my profound appreciation to the BBVA Foundation for its far-sighted establishment of these Frontiers of Knowledge Awards in such a range of important domains, all of them fundamental and topical. I'm particularly indebted for this wonderful recognition to Professor Jose Mora, who is here, who initiated the nomination, to the several colleagues around the world who endorsed it, and of course to Professor Goldsmith and the jury who made the choice and wrote the appealing citation. Thank you all indeed. Being a BBVA laureate will be one of my highest honors. May I also add my thanks for the efficient and comprehensive assistance of the Foundation staff. I was fortunate to have begun my engineering studies just a few years after two events in 1948, not so long ago, that, <laughs> that transformed the field of... <laughs> From my age, it looks <laughs> <laughs> that transformed the field, of the field of electrical engineering and that continued to change our lives. One was the launching by Claude Shannon of the field of information theory. The other was the invention by Bardeen, Brattain, and Shockley of the transistor. Both of them done at Bell Labs in a previous era. Bell Labs is now a shadow of its former self. As a result of these uh, innovations, electrical engineering began to separate into two broad areas. One is a largely mathematics-based field called systems theory, which includes subjects such as mentioned by Professor Goldsmith, communications, control, signal processing, computation, cryptography, and others. The other is a largely physics-based field of devices which includes integrated circuits, MEMS and nanoelectronics, and broadened to include lasers and other quantum devices. I first read about information theory in high school in 1951. and never even dreamt that a few years later I would have a scholarship to study at MIT, where almost all of the early research in information and systems theory was being done. It was indeed a remarkable time, which has been called the golden age of information theory. Among my many brilliant fellow students at MIT was Jacob Ziv, last year's winner of the BBVA award in this category. However, the algorithms of information theory that we were working on were so complicated that we did not think the results would have any practical application in our lifetimes. We consoled ourselves by saying that this is just training for the mind, as Greek and Latin were in an earlier age. But here is where the other 1948 event, the invention of the transistor, came to our rescue. The resulting remarkable developments in miniaturization have enabled the realistic implementation of many highly mathematical results. The evidence is all around us. Just think, for example, of mobile phones, which are spreading at an incredible rate around the world. 16 million mobile phones are sold in India every month, 16 million, and making a huge difference to life in that society. 
And uh, the phones themselves are with ever-increasing capabilities, including the iPhone 4, which was launched, uh, which will be launched in a day or so, I think. Yeah. However, while the system side has profited greatly from developments on the devices side, there has not been a reverse impact of comparable significance from systems to devices. I'm gratified that some of my recent work has used methods and results from system theory to improve the manufacture of semiconductor devices, as was described, and in fact also to enhance the capabilities of mobile phones. In all these endeavors, I have gained from the values and lessons learned in my native country, India, and over the last 50 years from the education and opportunities provided by my adopted country, America. Also often on my mind is, the haunting, is a haunting line from Tennessee Williams' powerful play, A Streetcar Named Desire, where the heroine says, I have always depended on the kindness of strangers. For myself, I have in fact also benefited a lot from the kindness of strangers, but also I've been lucky to have benefited from the kindness of family, friends, teachers, brilliant students and associates, research sponsors, and again, just many plain strangers. Time only permits me to name two of my many benefactors. One is MIT, where the foundations of my research and teaching career were laid. The other is my wife, who lost her valiant battle to, with cancer two years ago. Sarah was the true rock on which my life was built. I like to think that somewhere she too is rejoicing in this special moment. I'm happy to tell you that my BBVA prize is to be donated to MIT as part of a pledge to fund a fellowship for electrical engineering students, graduate students, who would like to apply their EE knowledge and training to the field of cancer research. Thank you very much.